everybody, this is uh, Michael out in Maui. Aloha. So if you've been liking the contents that I've been putting out there, don't forget to uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and you'll get a new video three times a week. <laughs> How's it going today everyone? This is Michael out in Maui. Aloha. So today I wanted to talk about creating snap on the release of the disc. I think you need to understand what creates the snap of the disc to be able to learn to throw and create the snap. So when you're throwing, you know, the disc, the object to get a good snap on the disc. So you pull into the pocket and as the arm comes out, the wrist snaps, you know, follow through but what generates the snap? What's creating the snap? So, to generate a snap, something has to stop, so then, you know, the disc will snap forward. So what stops? Um, you know, like if you snap a towel, if you take a towel and you snap the towel, the towel won't snap if you continue, like if you go straight through with it like this, it's not going to snap. You have to stop your arm and pull backwards because what it's going to do is as you're pulling the towel this way, when you stop your arm and jerk back, the towel is going to keep going far, you know, forwards and your hand came backwards. So you created you know the snap by stopping your arm and the towel went past so the disc is doing the same thing when you throw the disc and it gets out here you need to create a snap on the wrist to release the disc to create the snap it's all about arm tension and rips pressure. So you need to have a very firm grip on the disc and you need to have a very strong forearm. Because what you're trying to do, so as you reach back and you pull your arm through, as my arm is coming to the front to release the disc, if my arm goes completely straight, my wrist can't snap because there's nothing for it to snap against because the arm went completely straight. You know, so if you're here, you pull through, arm goes straight, and you just follow through. Nothing generates a snap. Nothing stopped to make your wrist fire through. The only way to generate snap is from arm tension and keeping your arm bent. You don't want your elbow to go straight because you can't stop your wrist from, you know, to snap the disc if your arm goes straight. If your arm stays bent, that allows your wrist to stop and snap through with the disc. This happens because of arm tension. So when I reach back, I have arm tension, grip pressure. It's going to keep my arm bent from the arm tension. So as I pull through this side, my arm's gonna stay bent. And because it's bent, it's stopping. My arm has stopped because of the tension in my arm stopped with the bend. That's what creates the snap. See, now my wrist will push through because my upper arm stopped. So if you, you know, so basically like if you look at like my arm right now is bent. If I put my thumb right where the arm joint is right here. So here's the throw. But watch when I go straight with my arm. 
you can see it's now out here. It's moved two, you know, three inches farther forward. So with my arm bent, my arm is three inches shorter on the reach. So from that stopping three inches short, that's why your wrist snaps because your arm stopped. Your arm can't stop if it's completely straight. If it's completely straight, there's nothing that makes your wrist fire through, you know, because it's completely straight. So that's why when you're throwing, it's very important to have strong grip and forearm so that way you can keep your arm bent. That bend in your arm will stop your arm from going straight and that last three inches will allow the wrist to snap. So, so you know, I hear people talk about throwing, you know, with a noodle arm. You don't want to throw with a noodle arm because, like I said, it only that just lets your arm, a noodle arm, you know, allows your arm to go straight. There's nothing for your hand to snap against. You need to have arm tension, grip pressure. When you pull through, your arm's gonna stop three inches short from going straight. See right there, it's at my, el my thumb, and it's gonna come out to my finger if I go straight, see? Because that stops, my arm has stopped, your wrist is at nine o'clock right there. But because my arm stopped, it's now going to fire the disc out. And that's how the snap is created. Because your arm stops, the disc is at nine o'clock and it pushes out. So it's very important to start to throw with grip pressure and arm tension. As you pull through, you want that arm to stay bent. Disc is at a 90. Because your arm stops, your wrist fires through. You know, then you got the follow through. So I hope that helps describe, you know, why it's so important to have a strong grip and strong forearm. So that way you can generate more power and get to the snap. The only way to get the disc to go farther is getting it to snap. And the only way to get it to snap is through arm tension and grip. So anyways, this is uh, Michael from Maui. Aloha. Don't forget to subscribe.